Hey guys, it's Shelly coming from Shelly's Floral Basket. Today I've been planting some of my vegetables because I'm doing a vegetable and a flower garden. We have got some tomatoes. We got eight, nine. We're planting our last one. So I've furrowed my row this morning. I've laid down the black uh, landscaping fabric and we've dug our holes and we're getting the last tomato in now. Uh, I've had some help. My kids have been helping me set these out. This is the last one we have. So just to kind of come by, you dig a hole the depth of the pot that your tomato or fruit or whatever it is that you're putting in the ground is in. So you dig it as deep as the container it's in. You backfill with your soil from the garden and you just press in to make sure you have all the air pockets out of it and this looks a little wilted because it's been laying out here while we've ran in the house and gotten drinks we've been out here all day since 7 30. we've ran to walmart and gotten a few things that we needed for our planning we had to get some steaks for our tomatoes. We had to get this black plastic that we put down to lay over our rows. But Matthew, why don't you go get us some water to water them in real good. But this one, I've got some big beef tomatoes, some, what is this one over here? Some early, one of these is early bird, I think. Some early, early girl hybrid right here is what this one is. These are more mature. They're already flowering. They're gonna start getting some tomatoes on them soon. I bought these two were a little bit more expensive. These were $6.95 each. And these were $3.95 because they're a younger, a younger plant so I wanted to get a head start on these bigger ones to see if we can't get some tomatoes pretty soon but then we have some broccoli that we're gonna put in next I've got 12 little reams of broccoli I'm gonna try this year and then we've got some strawberry plants up here baby strawberries here this one we had last year that my son had in his room over the winter so it wouldn't die off when it got cold so we're gonna put this one in the ground too to see how they do but we've never tried any strawberries so we're gonna try this this year to see how it does and we'll have to let you guys know how they're doing later on and then I've got my rows over here we're going to do flowers. We're going to have zinnias here. We're going to have some cosmos here. I've got some Rebecca and Black Eyed Susan that I'm going to put in those rows over there. And then we've got some more rows here to the left that aren't done. We're still plowing up that part for the rest of our flowers. We've got a bunch of seeds that we're starting that we're gonna put in the ground in about a month. My dahlias are gonna go over here too. We're gonna put dahlias out here cause they need about six hours of direct sunlight a day. And I'm gonna put them in the ground over there. I've got some eucalyptus seeds started that aren't ready yet. So we're gonna try some eucalyptus trees for my florists. Hopefully I'm gonna get some florist buyers that'll be buying that for filler and then I've got some bells of Ireland up there at the house started too but I just wanted to share with you guys the planting that we've done today and just like and subscribe if you like my videos I appreciate you guys watching talk to y'all later bye